Item. The Spanish Armada, which was commanded by an orange grower from Seville with no prior naval experience, was sunk and a potato washed ashore on the English coast. Realizing the potential of the spud in the suds for feeding the poor, the British carried this tuber to Ireland where it took root. I am, I am, cries the divine potato in the new world. I have the feeling we're not in Lindisfarne anymore. your name to everyone 
but no one answered. You see, words mean different things in different places and times. Eating cornflakes, we searched for cereal immortality. You're drifting, Lawrence. You're drifting. And we gazed in awe on an adobe wall painted by someone's nephew. Depicting federales standing guard on revolutionaries dressed as avocados in an orchard of blazing obsessions. And you can go tell Montezuma we've got an aching in our heart, which only one thing will satisfy, and that's gold. My beautiful doomed children, that's gold. We tied a cable to a rock and charted a collision course through our Sahara. As the Russian novelists used to say, make it strange, make it strange. Based on recent scientific discoveries, some historians believe that the white god Quetzalcoatl was actually St. Brendan, an Irish missionary who journeyed to the New World five centuries before the arrival of Columbus. Sons of the Antichrist, Feel your Nordic personality melt and expand. Conquests, uprisings. At the root of it all is the desire to get laid. And in the beginning was the herd. And they say the animals could talk. And they said, badgers, we ain't got no stinking badgers. The tongue of a silver snake could not make the truth more palatable than this. Here are magnificent obsessions. Here are Freudian scenes from refried beans. Here the fingers of stone gods seek soft throats to strangle. A band of loco illuminoso our purpose on earth is to send raving the race of man. We push westward in sorrow and hope, past the Mustang Grotto, past a bar called the Horses something or other. With the soul of magpies, we are troubled by thoughts of life and death like a juggler with his black and white ball. Thrill seekers in tourist persona with the fever dream of a semiologist. We stumble around in a dusky, choking, flowering garden down in Hades. We may look like itinerant propeller salesmen. We may be exponents of catatonic expressionism, but look out. Our hearts are plated with chrome. We too will build our pyramids of images and skulls. But our orders come from Rome. Knock and it shall be opened. Seek and ye shall find. Ask and it shall be given. But not here. In this land of pictobabble, 
and the madman's kaleidoscope. The people smile with their lips, but not with their reptilian glittering eyes. Sometimes we know we are going crazy. Instead of water, we drink alcohol. The mind blinds itself, thinking about drinking, about thinking about drinking, about thinking. Gangs of wild chihuahuas tear at our ankles, jaws at our Achilles heel. We will not pass this way again. The tragedy of it is overwhelming. I say we will not pass this way again. With eyes filled with tears from burning sand, Quetzalcoatl came in feathered cloak and cowl to this time-ridden angry land to dance on fields of fire. And even though he was a god, he departed from here exhausted and defeated with blisters on his feet and a sunburn. Nobody goes to Tibet anymore. Don't you realize nobody goes there anymore? Angels run up my pant legs. Their wings get caught in the fruit of the bloom. And here, dreamers who have mastered death sink deep within the twilight of their nightmares. And walk toward us, dressed in the feathers of screaming tropical birds in agony. And now it's time for the theory. Insanity is the most authentic metaphor for passion, and dreams and dreamlike states must end in violence. Wake up, wake up, I say. Blood must be shed for our mutual redemption, but of course more of yours than mine. In man's triumph over time and matter, and the triumph of time and matter over man, the call of the wild touches me inside. And the Lord answered and said, Beware, take this for what it's worth. Step lightly on the earth. You are walking on the dust of an empire.
Military press release. The prisoner died committing suicide while attempting to escape. Walking through hell in a gasoline suit. Every evening, the sunset looks like a vast assassination in the sky. And every land and people get the history they deserve. Is there no end to the aesthetic trials? Almost every desire a man has is a punishable offense. Horns and the Harachis and the cold blue blade at the nape of the neck. If they're going to kill me tomorrow, I'd much rather they kill me today. Just tell me when my skin turns yellow and when my fog lights go on. Someone else saw the figure five in gold, but I saw a horse branded with the number seven. In this country, bedside manners are extra. And Cortez thought he was mad Only when it was written in a book Dying, bitten by coyotes in the desert At last, calling for his guitar Strumming to the end You have to say he had a lot of snout get the history they deserve the last twist of the knife the virgin for those who have nobody with wild cooking with chocolate and carrot feathers crawling up the aisles in cathedrals of gold the hill of the bells sister Juana Inez de la Cruz the unbandaging of great giants, the silver secret mines, the hills standing round in human, afraid the moon's stony cold light will fall on them. And the signs say, no entry to people in an inconvenient state. In vino veritas, Mi vida loco, quo vadis, whither goest thou? Ka, 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 my eyes were buried underground. The coffin, the last little room, our dwelling place. I could not foresee the horrible bad breath were you prepared? Not merely the whitest skull in the six-foot hole or the two worms making love in dead earnest, but also the stains, the ribbons, the pressed flowers. Jack Kerouac got up and dressed up and went out and had a shave. Then he died and got buried in a coffin, in a grave.
Indian mistress is regarded as the female Judas and the Indian Eve for assisting the serpent Spanish in bringing about the downfall and ignoble slavery of the Indian people. Here's a great opening line. Aren't you the daughter of circus people? Or how about, there is hot breath coming from that mountain which is shaped like a sleeping woman. A terrible beauty is being born who will cause exotic suicides with pulleys and with ropes impregnated with glass. Will the female nature ever be comprehended? The Indian princess Tequila Sunrise was it for love her song was sung buried in her coffin of obsidian exposed through all those ancient days to chromosome altering violet rays and after her Malinch selling out her race and gene pool for 30 screws she played new tunes on an old violin. Not the right fingering, of course, but close enough for a bunch of Spanish cutthroats from Seville or some similar somewhere. Like other great courtesans before her, she had a willingness to experiment, loved to travel, hated men and other women, and had an insatiable appetite. In fact, she simply seduced a nation. Walking all night to Veracruz, the blood streaming down her legs, she screamed, I'll make them pay. I'll make everyone pay. After that, she lived in a luxurious black shack with tin chandeliers, dripping cut glass tears, and vegetable walls, and fighting cocks in the hall. There was no place quite like it. The spiky plants at the perimeter 
were her best defense against unwanted intruders whispering taboo topics. The only flaw in her perfection, the mole on her complexion, she combed her hair in the reflection in the window of the House of Times. And she said, you can't expect me to sneak around for pesos for 1,001 nights with a bunch of Euro peons and not pick up a few nasty habits and social diseases by the side of the road now, can you? I must admit, she had me there. Cunning, coquettish, and conniving, she made herself into a symbol so she could join a traveling band. If there is one among you who disputes these facts, I urge you to consult the margins of the Aztec codices. For those who take the time to look, the truth is plain to see. And today, she is a Venus with a fat cigar from Cuba, listening to her lovers from North and South. She keeps changing her makeup, yet she moves like a goddess. Watch her on Sunday afternoons at the bullring in Guadalajara, and you will know what I mean. Driving down Paseo de Reforma, in her 52 Pontiac, a distant relative, a set of jumper cables hanging out of the trunk, the windshield obscured by decals and dingle balls, a wire coat hanger attached to the antenna. She pulls in every mariachi and nortino station for miles around. Ooh, ooh, Father Hidalgo. Ooh, ooh, Father Hidalgo. She has turned our relationship into a trampoline act. Her mother says that as a child she was impossible. For Christmas she wanted a mosquito, and as a young lady she looked upon the Son of God as just another eligible bachelor to conquer. Watching her outside of Roach Motel, she tossed rocks at the vultures and used her fly swatter on the national bird. I sat, sulking, lighting matches in dark corners, thinking about Rue Sebastopol, the Englisher Garden, and the Mort Sabine. Then she extended her arms like two enchiladas, offered to trade her serape for my sombrero and proceeded to draw a picture of a grasshopper for her aunt. If our minds were not so addled by the hot sun and the tecate, which makes the land shimmer and the road seemed four feet high we would realize immediately that this is higher mathematics the kimonos in disarray the sensuous binary numbers the samurai swords lying akimbo the two mice Fornicating by the automatic tortilla maker, the velvet paintings, the street mascara, the poinsettia in the jet black hair, the creamy thighs, the stamping feet of the dancers, 
that licking of the castanets, the giggling of the boyers, the shadow of the woodchuck on the snow in the backyard, the black sat underwear, the frostbacks sneaking across the Canadian border in the dead of winter. No one, I say, no one from the cow sheds of Cambridge to the root cellars of Rapallo would ever dare compose lines such as these. You bite him with your big Kajita. Big more Vita Cold-hearted Senorita Time passed by us Maybe ten years later I live deep Within a world of shadows You passed by Saw me, these words I heard her say. Who's that boy? Tell me, do you know him? And you answered him, he's just nobody. All your insults and humiliations only prove exactly what you are. Cold-hearted senorita, you want me groveling at your feet are. You always take give no receipt Cold-hearted senorita Senorita, I was just a young boy 
like chance, you sunk your claws into me, like a vampire in a horror movie. You sucked away my childlike innocence, and you treated me like all the other women of your kind. Treat young boys just like me. Now it's time for me to come and tell you. Senorita, you just want my pink chiquita. You fight him with your big cajita. Cold hearted senorita. Item. The dictator Porfirio Diaz opened the 100th anniversary of Father Hidalgo's revolt against the Spanish with the dedication of a new madhouse. The revolution of 1910 erupted immediately, killing two million people. We sing in a low voice because words of rebellion cannot be heard well between clenched teeth. Here Madero was murdered, here stripped, here fell his silver saxophone and the mummified French ambassador. Here little beaver kicked the leg out from under the millionaire from Vienna. Here they cannot stand to see men and women's clothing blowing together on a clothesline. Yet they quickly blame the deflowering of children on violent emotions caused by national crisis. Let me tell you, Horatio, there are more things on heaven and earth than are dreamed of in your philosophy. I saw Eisenstein's film just like you didn't. The montage, the collage, the décolletage in the garage and the mirage. But who will chronicle our customs, our grief, our catastrophes, our miracles? Who will x-ray our society? Our thoughts are splashed on adobe walls in the dead of night or scratched in secret scars in sacred sections of the yucca plant. You will have to tear out our hearts to read our minds. This is the secret of our forefathers. We cast our fate to the wind and our destiny in lead. The firing squad at dawn holds no fear for us. Besides, Petunia has probably already moved in with Juan and forgotten me. At least there is shade and peace below the ground. <laughs> Nevertheless, someone could get murdered for an inconsequential word or gesture, and they are. The howling of dogs, cocks crowing all night long, the moaning of sorrow that never sleeps. Off in the distance, the sound of a thousand carpets being beaten. I am on the level. Walking down the street of the 40 thieves, I wrote a sonnet about a dogfight I saw, but it was rejected by the Mexico City News for lack of bite. Death to bad governments, Burn down the haciendas. In times like these, the movie saloon fight is the only acceptable model to follow. Kill them on the spot. Let them hang in the wind and twist slowly. 
give them bread or the stick, the big enchilada, deep six them. A dog with a bone neither barks nor bites. No general can stand the cannonade of a hundred thousand pesos. They use jockey Indian techniques to extract confessions. Staking men on anthills to be eaten alive. Or throwing men under the wheels of trains. And in the Landre Paseo, female matadors plant banderillas while riding on bicycles. And the bull charges from darkness into light. Without fear or respect for royalty, this skeleton will observe their laws with loyalty.
inside him. Mexico City is the largest city in the world with a population of 14 million. At the present birth rate, the projected population of Mexico City in the year 2000 will be 40 million people. Dark is the grave wherein my friend is laid. I considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun and saw the tears of the oppressed. Whereupon I praise the dead more than the living. It is better not to be born than to see the evil which is done under the sun. In this shattered windshield world, boxcars are turning out of town. And on an avenue bearing the initials of Christ in the new world, the hands of Orlac play upon the keys. And Peter Lorre looked on and giggled. I saw the collision of two taxi cabs And out of one jumped the taxidermist looking for a fight Who attacked and mounted the other And I saw a breather of fire His nostril hairs ablaze Lighting up the motionless valley with motionless light I have seen all the works that are done under the sun and behold all his vanity and vexation of spirit. Oh, Cisco. Oh, Pancho. To qualify for success, rub your face in the dirt. And you too can have a mule with a silver saddle. And if not, well, at least a jackass. These are our choices, the insanity of civilization or the lunacy of the primitive. And Carlos Castaneda could never see the forest for the trees, standing in the middle of his circle in the Sonora Desert. Tonight we sleep in separate ditches. Tonight the Zona Rosa is cluttered with aging babies. Tonight there is something fishy about Bellinghausen's. Tonight I'll walk across Texas with you. If the sea were pavement for us, as for our Redeemer, then we could be truly luminous, as Trotsky, Breton, and Rivera. I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there under palm trees surrounded by rotting crates of Catholic theology we cursed the Anglo-Saxons for their godless materialism and their successes weaving our way around the statue of Quatamach in the warp and woof of carbon monoxide and squidding rubber the race gets faster and faster, and the end gets nearer and nearer. Emiliano Zapata, whose shoes we are unworthy to walk in, whose handlebar mustache we are unable to grasp, lead us on as we roar down insurgentes to our fiery destiny. Planting cross after cross after cross, 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 by the side of the road. And they took me to the dwelling place of him who was old and blind. The electric train transformer and I was transformed. Then he put his gnarled hand on my chest and said, The Indians are.
within the human breast And as Charles Darwin said A smile is a modified snarl Can't you die? Texas with you to not